What's up everybody, welcome to Budget Tone, where I show you guys inexpensive solutions to your guitar tone needs. If you're new here, my name is Taylor, and today we're gonna be looking at the Valatin GP100, which retails for $149.99. So price wise, I think this fits the guidelines of a budget multi-effects unit, but today we're gonna unbox it and check it out and see what it's capable of. Let's open this guy up. Oh wow, a okay, tiny little guy. Comes with your typical USB and tiny power supply. Look at the size of this thing. It's like, here's my cell phone for comparison. This, this is a little, little, little tiny power adapter. Okay, and, oh wow. This whole thing's metal. Like it's really weighty. There's a good weight to this. So here's what it looks like. It's a cool little sleek pedal. Um, the foot pedal feels pretty good. I never use these things though, personally. I wish more companies would exclude the foot pedal and get some cost savings in there and then just add the option for an expression pedal if you want one because to me, this is just a waste of money. It's like too small to be a real usable pedal and it's just like, you could put that money towards something else. But I will say that for, you know, $150, I am super impressed with the build quality of this thing. I mean, the whole housing solid metal. And like I said, you know, there's a decent amount of weight to it. The foot switches feel good. Ooh, these knobs, these knobs up here are stepped. I love step knobs, just so you know. Ooh, even the main value knob is stepped. Ooh, I really like that. Yeah, everything feels super solid. Okay, let's check out what we got going on here. We have the input on the back, and then we have stereo outputs. So we have a left and right output, an auxiliary in, and a headphones out, and then a USB out, and the nine volt, that's it. So not much going on in terms of the in and out, but for $150, like, what do you really expect? So it does 24-bit, 44.1 kilohertz signal processing. So if you are looking for anything above 44.1, that might be an issue for you. Advanced digital modeling technology delivers organic tone for 140 high quality effects, 45 legendary guitar, bass, acoustic amp types, 40 factory IR cabinets, supports storing 20 user IRs. That's awesome that you can store your own IRs on this as well. 50 plus dynamic drive, EQ mod, delay reverb effects, USB audio interface function with stereo audio streaming stomp box and preset modes for different situations. 198 presets, 99 factory, 99 user, high quality looper, 100 high quality drum patterns, durable metal chassis and foot switches. They're definitely durable. Intuitive PC Mac editor, quarter inch stereo outputs, eighth inch headphone output, stereo eighth inch auxiliary input, built in expression pedal and DC nine volt power supply. This is sort of an insane deal for all the things that this offers. But in order to see if it's a good deal, we're gonna have to sit down and dial in some tones with it. So let's go over to the computer and plug this guy in and see what we can come up with. All right, let's open this GP100 editing app up and see how good it is. I do really dig the aesthetic of this editor. I like how clean it is. Everything's like very bright and labeled clearly and it's just really easy to navigate and see what's going on. This is our chain down here. Oh, and you can move the chain around. Um, I think that's just like a necessity nowadays. It's like. Uh, let's see what we got going on here and let's see how much time it takes me to build a good sound. Let's go to the settings here and see if there is, please select a firmware dot wave file. Firmware updates are done via wave files. That's kind of weird. So in the general settings, there is only the input level um, the record level and whether you're recording wet or dry signals left and right. So that's cool. If you want to record a DI, you can record one of the inputs wet and one of them dry, and then you can monitor yourself with the effects and still get your DI track. So what it looks like stomp mode does is it changes these two buttons up here from changing between your patches to actually controlling stomp boxes in your chain. Let's try this UK MD. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Okay, let's go over to the amp, Mesa Mark IV. To me, those sound backwards. This sounds more like That sounds more like a Mark IV, and this sounds more like a dual rack. But what do I know? Let's go with this Eagle 120. Ooh, there's a looper on here. And it's always handy to be able to loop your guitar while you're dialing something in so your hands are free to dial. Okay, let's dial this in. Thank you. 
And there's actually no settings for like microphones or anything like that on the cab, which to be honest with you, isn't really that bad of a thing, especially if you're using your own IR files, you don't need all that stuff. I think that sounds pretty heavy. Let's just go ahead and throw in a boost here and dial that in. <laughs> Okay, I'm thinking that sounds pretty good. Uh, let's check out the drums. <laughs> the metal beat has no hi-hats or cymbals. That's really funny. So, you know, that's cool. It's there if you want to use a drum machine. Uh, not my thing. Uh, noise gates. We have two different noise gates here. So there's one. This must be like a smart gate, maybe. And actually, the noise gate works pretty well. This one has an attack and release. That one works really well. This guitar actually has really noisy springs from the Floyd Rose that's in it, and, uh... That's doing a really good job of catching that noise and cutting it out. Okay, I think this is a pretty good rhythm tone. I mean, this is something I could get behind. Let's try some of these effects out. T echo, it's probably tape echo. Oh yeah, that sounds nice. I like that. And you have the option here to sync it with your tempo, and then you can turn the tail on also, which will keep your tails when you switch patches. Let's go to the reverb. Let's see. Let's see what this clear sky is all about. <laughs> Okay, I like it. Um, let's try the North Star. Ooh, I like this one a little bit more. The effects sound really, really good on this. I think even without the amp modeling for $150, this would be worth just the effects alone. Because if you think about it, you know, you could easily spend $100 plus on just a single effects pedal, and this has quite a few effects built into it. All right, what do you guys think of the GP100? Is there anything I missed? Let me know down in the comments below. Like I said at the beginning of the video, for $150 US, I think that this is a really insane value. I think it makes a lot of sense, especially if you're on a budget and you're looking for something with all of these features. Or you just want something tiny that, you know, fits in your gig bag. I mean, look how tiny it is. This is a boss pedal, and this is a Valaton GP100. It's just insane. It's essentially like, the size of two and a half stomp boxes. It would also make a great addition to your pedal board if you are a pedal board guy, i.e. not me. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. What other budget gear needs to be reviewed on my channel? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, if you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.